Every year, it gets less crazy to say this out loud. One person at home can now ship what used to take a room full of specialists. Not because we suddenly work harder, but because AI keeps swallowing entire phases of the build process, shaping the brief, designing the interface, wiring the backend, validating flows, and pushing to production. One of the hardest, messiest challenges in that chain has always been launching an application. Front-end, back-end, auth, data, payments, preview links, mobile builds, the million tiny checks that prevent a broken release. Today, I'm going to show you an AI that, in my experience, is one of the strongest in this exact lane. If you stick with me to the end, you'll leave with the confidence to operate like a one-person team that ships projects big teams would respect. That's not hype. It's a shift in leverage. And I'm going to walk you through it calmly so you can use it right away. I also have good news. In our Discord, we've released a new volume of our PDF, completely free for everyone who supports the channel. In these volumes, you'll find the best free AIs, tricks to squeeze 100% out of today's tools, and tips, secrets, and updates we don't share on YouTube. To get them, just join the channel's Discord. There, you'll also find links to all the AIs we're using today, plus the prompts we used. You'll see a bot PDF section. Post the link to the video you watched, and one screenshot showing you liked, subscribed, left a positive comment, and watched the whole video. That's it. The bot automatically sends you the latest PDF. Jump into Discord. There are tons of other features. People share Sora codes, give advice, a lot that can help you. All right, let's get to the AIs. Rocket.nu is mission control for building production-ready apps from a single prompt. You can start from a prompt, a Figma file, a template, or even a screenshot. Then, it thinks like a product strategist, designs like a senior UX team, wires a real backend, database, auth, APIs, renders a frontend in React slash Next slash HTML for web and Flutter for mobile, and gives you live previews you can share. They call the philosophy vibe solutioning, and the key difference is this. You don't get disjointed pieces, you get a coherent product that survives iteration. The link to Rocket.nu is in the description, first line, and I'll pin it in the comments too. Before we touch any demos, let's map the control room so nothing surprises you mid-build. Start points first. Prompt mode is perfect for fast, multi-screen MVPs. You describe the app in one sentence, and Rocket returns a set of screens, flows, and a working backend. Figma import is for pixel accuracy from real designs. Keep frames clean, group related components, use proper masks, remove hidden layers and anything sitting outside its frame, and share a read-enabled link. Templates are your token saver. Landings, dashboards, mobile starters. Great when you know the shape and want to spend your budget on specifics. Screenshot mode is useful if you've got a static mockup or a web shot you want as a layout guide. Editing happens two ways. The visual editor lets you click an element and change color, typography, spacing, or swap components. The chat layer is where you speak like a PM. Make the header dark, add a sticky CTA, switch to a two-step onboarding, add email validation, plus a success toast. Rocket applies changes across UI and logic because it understands state, not just pixels. Live preview is instant on both web and mobile. You can share links for feedback without a full deploy. Under the hood, the code is real. React slash next slash HTML on web, Flutter on mobile, with a unified design system so components look and feel consistent across platforms. You can export code at any time, sync to GitHub for versioning, deploy web builds to Netlify with one click, map a custom domain, and even download an APK to install the mobile app on your phone. How does it build? From a single brief, Rocket plans a UX structure, generates copy you can actually ship, scaffolds database schemas, configures authentication, creates API endpoints, and stitches in real flows, forms with validation, CRUD, onboarding, role-based areas, then runs an internal build loop that includes error detection and auto-fix. If something breaks, it doesn't just throw a stack trace, it suggests and applies repairs. You'll also see a live cost matrix while it works, so you can keep resource usage under control. Core features to keep in your mental checklist. One prompt app generation. Figma to code with high fidelity. Automated backends. Database, auth, APIs. Visual editor plus natural language refinements. Downloadable APK for Android. Shareable previews and one-click deploy. Media management for logos and assets. Integrations that actually wire into flows. And full code ownership with GitHub Sync. 
no lock-in. Integrations you'll see today include Supabase for database and auth, Stripe for payments and subscriptions, Twilio for SMS OTP, Netlify for deploys, Resend for transactional email, and AI APIs like OpenAI slash Claude slash Gemini slash Perplexity when you want intelligence inside the product. If you need any other REST API, Rocket can wire it from a sample request and a sample JSON response. No secrets inside the chat, plus a sentence telling it where in the UI to show the data. All right, let's build something simple and real on web with two integrations so you can copy the pattern. I start with a prompt. ASAS dashboard with user authentication, a billing page, a usage metric screen, and a team member section. Rocket spins up screens, sets up routing, and proposes a backend. I connect Supabase for auth and tables, and Stripe for billing. In the chat, I ask for dark mode, then a team screen with invite flow and role badges. Visual editor for a quick color tweak to match a brand hex. Live preview updates instantly, and I can click through login, see a mock metrics view, and open the billing page. Two minutes where I almost messed it up. The first time I dropped in Stripe, I named the plan inconsistently across the settings and the UI. Rocket flagged the mismatch in its error panel, patched the references, and the flow aligned. I deploy the web app to Netlify from inside Rocket and get a shareable link. That's auth, billing, metrics, and team management working, without me touching a CLI. Now a tiny mobile example with OTP and an APK you can actually install. I start from a mobile template or a prompt. Phone login via OTP with a profile screen and a simple home. I wire Twilio for SMS verification. Two screens, home and profile. I ask the chat to add a success toast and a resend code timer. Then I hit download APK. A real Android build lands in my downloads and I can install it on my phone. Honest moment, the very first time I tried this on another project, I got a 401 from Twilio because my demo keys weren't scoped correctly. Rocket's integration panel pointed to the missing permission. I updated the environment variables, and the OTP flow passed on the next run. Figma import gets its own quick pass because designers care about the last 10%. I paste a Figma URL for a landing page, Rocket pulls the structure into code, and I ask it to match a brand color and add a small hero animation. The fidelity holds as long as the Figma file respects basic hygiene. Frames clean, masks correct, no invisible junk. If you push messy layers through, you'll spend your time undoing weirdness. I did that once, never again. Let me show one more trick a lot of no-code demos skip. Wiring any external API without a plugin store. In the chat, I paste a sample get and a sample JSON response. Weather data is an easy example. And tell Rocket where to render it in the UI. Show city, conditions, and temperature on the dashboard header and refresh on page load. It builds the request, maps the fields, and places the output exactly where I asked. Later, when you swap in a real key server-side, you don't have to rebuild the UI. That separation saves you hours. Error detection and autofix deserves a quick look under pressure. I ask Rocket to add an email capture form with validation and a success toast that clears the input and disables the button until the state resets. It writes the logic. I fat finger the prop name on purpose in the visual editor. The build loop catches it, suggests two fixes, and patches the correct handler. That's not a toy behavior. That's the difference between a demo and a calm release. Before we wrap, two privacy habits I follow and recommend. I keep banking and sensitive client portals in a separate browser profile, period. Inside Rocket, I scope integrations to just what I need. I clear history between client projects and I export code when a project hits a milestone, so the repo becomes the source of truth. Connect what helps, nothing more. Here's where you take it further. Start from a template if you want speed and save tokens. Use prompt mode when you don't know the shape yet and need structure. Use Figma import for stakeholder confidence when the brand details matter. Always combine the visual editor with the chat. Click for specifics, talk for systems. And when you integrate an API, give Rocket a real sample request and response so it can generate the UI properly on the first pass. We built a web app with auth, billing, metrics, and team management using Superbase and Stripe. We built a mobile app with phone OTP and downloaded a real APK using Twilio. We imported a Figma design with high fidelity, wired an arbitrary API from scratch, and watched Rocket catch and fix our mistakes. That's a serious amount of surface area for one person in an afternoon. Build your own production-grade app from a single prompt at rocket.new. The link is in the description and pinned comment.
Share what you ship and tag at rocket.new. They feature the best builds and I want to see you in that gallery. And if you want the prompts I use today, they're in our Discord, plus that new free PDF volume for the folks who support the channel. Subscribe, watch to the end, like, positive comment, take one screenshot as proof, and unlock it in the server. Thanks to Rocket.new for sponsoring this video. I'll keep exploring tools that turn solo creators into one-person teams. Calm, fast, and credible. Open a tab, describe your mission once, and let Rocket deliver the full stack while you stay in flow.